Hi, this is Rachel with Finale Inventory, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your account when ShipStation has you connect to um, a new eBay connection. Uh, what happens is they have you connect to this new eBay connection, and it duplicates a bunch of orders with unique order IDs in ShipStation. And so Finale sees these unique order IDs and imports them in as if they're new orders because they're totally unique and we have no way to know that they are actually duplicates. And so they're going to import in and they take out of your inventory um, and so you need to cancel them. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. First thing you do is go to Selling Sales Orders and we're going to add two columns to this list screen here. So you're going to go up to this table and you're going to add a column titled record created and then you're also going to add the ship to name all right so now that we have that we're going to look at our completed orders So we're going to look at our completed orders for all dates. Now the main things we're going to look at here are the record created date against the order date and the ship to name. That, that will come and help us later. Um, so the first thing to do is you'll likely have multiple sources here. Um, you know, you'll say Amazon, eBay, Etsy, etc. Um, we're going to find the, our new eBay store connection and we're going to look at the record created date against the order date. Now likely the record created date and the order date will be pretty close together if it's an accurate order that is not a duplicate. The key here is that our record created date and our order date are a month apart approximately. Sometimes you'll see them and they'll be three months apart, two weeks apart, but um, if there is a big difference between the record date, the record created date, and the order date, you'll know it's a duplicate. Now, the other thing to look at is the ship to name. So if you're not sure that it's a duplicate and you want to verify it, look at the ship to name. So we'll get rid of that source because our old eBay connection is going to have our original order. So we can search up here our ship to John Smith and we'll see here that we have the, another order for the same subtotal one with a record created date that matches the order date as well as the shipment date. And if we just want to be extra sure, we can go in and look at the order. So this is a order for product ID 456, a red shirt. Let's just check our original. Uh, also 456, a red shirt. So what we'll do with our duplicate order is we'll go ahead, mark this here, and you can multi-select all the duplicates that you see. We'll go up to this Actions menu and hit Cancel Selected Sales. Now when you have a bunch of orders that come in, most of the record created dates will all be the same date around the same time, maybe within a few minutes or seconds of each other. So we can multi-select those and hit Cancel Selected Sales. And now, look at our canceled sales. Now we have our canceled eBay sale so that will put our stock that for the red shirt back into our inventory. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a process so if you need any help please reach out to us at service at finaleinventory.com. Thanks.